My name is James Mahold, and I'm a young person on long-term recovery. And for me, this means that I have not put any drugs or alcohol in my body in the last three years. Recovery for me has opened up so many doors in my life. Um, it allowed me to rebuild relationships with my family, gave me the opportunity to go back to school again. Um, it gave me the opportunity to have human relationships in general. For me growing up, life was like, I guess I describe it as sort of a typical American family. I had an alcoholic father and uh, a workaholic mother and uh, I was primarily raised by my grandfather. And so I grew up around the culture of, of drinking and drug use. And so I had my first drink of alcohol when I was in eighth grade and I smoked pot for the first time when I was, also when I was in eighth grade. My whole life I had sort of felt like, you know, I was on this plane here and everyone else was on this plane up here and I just didn't feel right. And when I put drugs and alcohol into my body, all of a sudden I was on the same plane as everybody else and I felt normal and I could interact with people and I wasn't such a loner anymore. And, and that's what drugs and alcohol did to me. Um, but eventually it, it got out of hand. And what really got out of hand for me was, was my drinking and eventually I started using heroin on a, on a daily basis. I just broke down and I couldn't, I couldn't live like I was living anymore. Um, and so I called my mom and I told her that I needed help and she got me in contact with a counselor that I had from a previous treatment. Things got really hard for a long time. I was doing whatever I could to just not get high and not get drunk that day. But then eventually I started meeting people, young people, old people who weren't just, they weren't just not using anymore, they were living a meaningful life of recovery, of long-term recovery, in which they were showing up in life, seeing that this recovery world that I thought was so small that I could barely get into at first is is huge. I had a building full of 70 other people who were young people in long-term recovery going to school trying to do the same things that I was trying to do. If it wasn't for the collegiate recovery program at the school that I went to, I do not think that I would have been able to make it through college. The support from staff and students who are like-minded and have similar goals, not only academically, but in life in general, and when it comes to things like being in recovery, um, I, j I, I wouldn't have made it. I, I wouldn't have been able to go back to a, a school without a collegiate recovery program. And so now I'm sitting here three years later and I'm applying to grad schools to get my PhD. But recovery for me is also about giving back. Um, and and that for me means helping other people coming into recovery because it's what was given to me when I came into recovery. My vision for young people in recovery is for them to have equal access to resources uh, like schools and colleges where they can feel safe and not have to worry about the temptations like that are constantly thrown at us in our society today. You can't sit down and watch a baseball game or a football game without seeing liquor commercials, you know? Um, and so having safe places um, whether that means rec centers and, and stuff like that, but just, just I guess having a society where it's okay to be a person in recovery is sort of my vision. 